Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lavender Beauty, and if you are new here, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are a returning bestie, hey girl. <laughs> so anyway, um, I am doing a video today where I'm going to do a eye makeup look using the new Maddie Ziegler X Morphe palette. And I absolutely loved the color story on this, so I had to grab her. I actually got two. I got one for me and one for you. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look, and I absolutely love it. I love this palette, it is so good. It is such a pigmented palette. I love this cute little green look that I got. Um, I also used my friend Ryan. This is his palette, The Book of Divination. Oh, the color story is just stunning. Okay, guys, so now let's get into the juicy Q&A. So from my girl, Hillary. Hey, Hillary, how are you, girl? She asks, what's next for Lavender Boutique? Oh, what is next for Lavender Boutique, girl? We are going to come out with a real mink lash, 3D lashes. Those are coming out cruelty-free. Okay, it might not be next. There might be something else in between. But it's coming. And Hillary again, I'm gonna do two of your questions because I love you. She says, will there be another PR search? Yes, there is always a PR search, period. This question is from my girl, Spooky Goth Bean. Hey boo. She says, how have you been since launch day? I have been on the brink of a mental breakdown. Not even gonna lie. It has been insane. I'm doing this all by myself. It's hard to do this because I was not expecting us to sell out and then on top of selling out sell more than i thought that i needed the order that i first put in was not enough it was absolutely not enough so then i put in another order like oh yes girl i'm gonna be good this is gonna be enough right no it was absolutely not enough i've been ordering lashes like almost every week it's been insane so we're just trying to keep up with the hype i've been doing my nails I'm trying to send send all my nails out in like a batch order. So the nails are coming. So sorry for the delay about that as well, guys. And I thank you so much for your patience. So my girl Nikki asks, where do you see your brand in the next five years? I see my brand in the next five years in Morphe stores. I see my brand in Ulta. I see my brand all over the place. And I will say that the first place that I see my brand in the next five years is Amazon because Lavender Boutique is coming to Amazon. My girl Nevea Garcia says, what slash who inspired you to do makeup? My mom actually inspired me to do makeup. I was super obsessed with like watching her do makeup as a kid. And I would like just sit there and watch her and just like, oh, was just obsessed with how she did her makeup and I just thought she was like the most beautiful person in the world. Yeah, my mom is definitely what made me get into makeup. I wish we, you know, still talked and I wish she could like see where I am now. But what can you say? KB Mitchell says, where'd you get the ideas for the names on your lashes? So I got the idea from people that I consider really big parts of my life and people who have like molded and shaped me to be where I am today. That's why I named it the Bestie Collection because these people are more than just like best friends to me. These are like family and 
you know, people who I love. I wanted to pay homage to the people that I care about. Katie Mitchell also asks, who are your favorite micro influencers? Oh, I got a couple of my favorite micro influencers. Um, I love Epic Work. That is my girl. I love like my girl Shannon. I love Marcus Weir, AKA the Glam God. I love Dion. It's Dion on Instagram. I love my girl Viva La Pink Poosh. That's my girl, Veronica. Love you. I love Jade Wisteria. That's my girl, AKA Average Kitty. She kind of changed her name on me, but that is my girl. I live for her. She's everything. Um, Glossé. Um, the Sun Prince, Mario Mundo, I love him. Oh my God, there's so many, there's so many. I knew I would get this question because I guess people are like very curious. Burnt Out Sig asks, are you still supporting Shane? This is a kind of difficult question for me because of course I love and care about Shane. I support Shane as a person, I support him with who he is today, I can't, speak on who he was in the past I can only speak to the person that he is to me today so to answer that question I absolutely still support Shane and I talk to Shane almost every day so he's my friend like I, I like he's my friend I can't really explain it yes I still support Shane Emily Hiles says what things are you looking forward to doing career-wise in the future I want to open my own warehouse. I want to work with, um, I want to work with other influencers, micro influencers. I want to help trans women in the future with branding. And I want to help like trans women be seen as more than just trans women. I want us to be seen as beautiful goddesses because we are, period. Oh, and also I want, I want my stuff in Morphe and I want my stuff in Alta. I want my stuff to go beyond e-commerce and I want to bring to a bigger audience. Purple Friday asks, should a person in the beauty community who is trying to be seen need a YouTube channel? I've had a YouTube channel since 2015 and I have not been the most consistent, but I feel like my social media has grown without the help of YouTube. I don't think you need a YouTube channel, but I will say, I think YouTube is definitely a good marketing tool. Okay, so the next question is from Isabella Gina Martinez. What's your favorite book? I know this is so corny because like, girl, I don't really, I don't really read that many books like I used to, but my favorite book is like literally the entire Twilight series. Like I was obsessed with the Twilight series, like, eh. Um, and what's my favorite TV show? I used to watch a lot of TV. I don't watch as much TV as I used to. I would say my favorite TV show ever on earth is Charmed, period. My favorite movie is Mean Girls. My favorite makeup product is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. The Extreme Frost Lick My Glit, that is my absolute favorite highlight. It just looks so good on my skin, like, ugh. Hate him or love him, girl, but the man makes good products regardless and she said i love you and you're stunning i love you and you're stunning kayla spam says what made you want to become a makeup artist and to make your own products first let's dissect this because this is a loaded question girl you loaded this shit. okay so what made me become a makeup artist i am transgender my main goal was like to pass when i had first started transitioning so i was like you know i have to figure out how to do makeup and I did. I learned how to do makeup and then I started doing makeup on other people. I worked at MAC, I worked at Ulta, I worked at Sephora. I'm just a makeup girl. So I had to. Makeup is just my thing. And you also asked why did I make my own makeup products? Because girl, I was given the opportunity to change my life. $5,000 might not be a lot to a lot of people, but to me it was and it was life changing and for me, I started my business off of, you know, a good 1500 of that 5,000 and I am here. <laughs> I am here and all of that has inspired me to create my own product, being in control and being able to create my own things. That's why I created my own brand. Well, okay guys, that is the end of those questions. I just wanted to say thank you so much for everyone who has 
<sighs> who has followed me um i want to say thank you to anyone who loves me for me i want to say thank you for anyone who is patient with orders i am doing this all by myself so it's hard to do this and be able to create content and to be able to you know full-blown put myself into submerging myself into like this like content creator like world like i really really want to when i'm over here trying to build my own brand as well and i'm not i don't have a team i don't have a team i have you know it's me and then bear helped me and it's like it like for the most part i'm doing this alone like i'm doing the stressing alone i'm doing the you know the ordering alone like i'm doing it all alone and i'm like trying to make sure that my future is secure so i just want to say thank you to anyone who has shown me any love and i love you guys so much so now is the time to pick the winner of the maddie ziggler palette giveaway and the winner is matt monet on instagram i will put them right here so you guys can see and congratulations matt i will be sending out your palette sometime next week so be on the lookout for that i love you guys so much Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.